Welcome to episode one of the group Iron Man adventure with myself and my group who are known as Locked In. Our group name is Locked In because for the duration of this series, each of us has selected one combat style that we're gonna be focused on progressing through. The series is gonna end whenever we all have best in slot in the combat style that we've chosen. It's not meant to be crazy restricted, but in general, if we're doing any kind of PVMing or bossing, we want to be using the combat style that we've selected. As for the group, I have chosen Magic as my combat style of choice, and I will be known as Book Bearer. Next up, we also have Pup, who's the group's melee, and his name is Swordstuck. We've also got Yo-Man, who's the group's ranger, and his name is Bow Binded because Bow Bound was already taken. Next up, we have Bunny Bop, who's chosen Necromancy as her combat style, and she'll be known as Death Guarded. And last but not least, Legos is our fifth member who's also chosen Necromancy for his locked style. He'll be known as Unlocked. With the introductions out of the way, let's get started, and I'm so excited to have you along for this journey. Questing is the best way to get early levels in RuneScape, so let's knock out some quests and get our stats to where we need them to be. Because I'm the mage, I'll be focusing on quests that give me prayer experience, hit points, and magic XP. And I think for day one, I want to try to get all the way to Dragon Slayer. Easily my favorite starting point is to head to Birthorp and get level 5 agility, which unlocks Surge and Escape. Escape doesn't matter much, but Surge is awesome for moving around through the game, so why don't we start there? I'm ready, the most riveting start so, to a RuneScape adventure. Huge content right now. Oh, level 2 agility already, what a huge Let's go, I don't even have my level Wait. yet. Wait, am I the first level? Y'all need to move a little faster. Team, we've got caches in 6 minutes, yeah? Yeah, I actually realized that, I hope you're proud of me. Oh, I just lost my balance. You kids have fun, I'm gonna, uh... <laughs> Grab myself a Wicked Hood. Okay. So the Wicked Hood is good for um, a Priest and Peril quest, so don't use the Essence yet because oh. you need to pull Essence out for that quest. Step one on this plan is to skip all the challenges by talking to Challenge Mistress Farah. So I'm going to do that first. Another RuneScape 3 thing you'll see throughout this series is daily challenges. Every day at reset, you'll be assigned three skills that you can train, and if you train each of them, you'll get a little chunk of XP and some decent rewards. So if you ever see me press a button and then get a bunch of levels in random skills, it was probably that. Yeah, so just keep saying I want to skip my current challenge until we get to regular challenges. Okay, uh, we need to go to Cash's team. One thing you'll see a lot of in this series is Gethaxian Caches. It's a mini game that's active every hour on the hour for just 10 minutes, and it's the best way to train divination into level 70 and possibly even beyond. There's a cap of how many points you can get per day, but we'll be maxing it out every single day, at least for the first few weeks. Caches are gonna be opening up shortly. Look at all of us! By the way, we're all mm -hmm. in agreement on the forfeit of if you die, you banish yourself to the rune span. Yes? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. I am. All right. First death has to go to your rune span and get 50 for Vizwax. I'll go there. Yeah, I'm going this way. I'm going this way. Away you go. Good luck, team. Uh, 11, 10. 10 seconds. Oh, gosh. I just got knocked. <laughs> is this Fortnite? Four, this is an L fine. mini game. Uh -huh. Because your points scale to your level, you actually don't want to do too well on the very first cash. Because if you do, a lot of your daily points are going to scale to level one, and you're not going to get very much XP. So it's actually better to go back as often as you possibly can, and you'll end up with a higher divination level that way. That being said, it's kind of annoying going back to caches every hour, so we'll try our best to not do too well, but if we get our 200 points early, we're gonna get them early. Alright, I think I'm gonna leave. I think 53 is probably good. Uh, let's see the levels. Ooh, that is level 12 divination. Big day. Alright, I am sending the blood pact. I also do think we should do the journey achievements, but I feel like we're gonna kind of do them automatically. Uh, I'm using melee! Uh-oh. Oh, I'm going to go do the necromancy quest first so I can do all that with necro. What can I do? Oh no, I died! Oh no! What? Oh, Wait. for the quest. Oh, I was yeah. gonna say it. <laughs> Wait, you yeah, already started like, the quest? I guess I'm going to the runes. You're going runes crafting, man. Yeah. Alrighty. Blood packed quest complete. First quest completed on the group Iron Man. We got a combat XP lamp. Of course we're gonna use that. Bang! Spam up the chat just a little bit and we're flying on to the next quest. Restless Ghost. Quest complete. Awesome early prayer XP required for a bunch of different quests. Most importantly, Ghost Ahoy, though. Wait, that animation was straight out of like 2002. That was awesome. There we go. Restless Ghost, quest complete. And that is actually a journey achievement as well. Pretty sick. And then these bones and things are really good XP as well, I believe. Next quest is Cook's Assistant. I do not need a guide for this quest. <laughs> Surely I can do this guideless. Good stuff, though. It's because I believe... Why am I killing cows? What am I doing? Got the achievement, Surge One Tile. Okay, <laughs> congrats. <laughs> we should have had a forfeit for that. We should have made that a forfeit, too. Wait, is there not a bucket in Lumbridge for milking the cow? Am I being also trolled? Oh, I didn't have to do it. Oh, my gosh. I didn't actually have to do it. There's The, the ammo's free at Lowe's shop. 
All right, I finished throwing. I got my milk. I got my milk. Thank oh, wait, the big egg doesn't area loot. Dude, imagine missing the big egg, and now I'm gonna go and snipe it. Wait, I just it area doesn't area loot everything. Wait, yeah. wait, how do I even pick it up? I'm doing a terrible job right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I can't find a bucket. <laughs> wait, where? Oh my god. Or sorry, a pot, a pot, a pot. Okay, we ball, we oh. ball, we ball. I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine. Everything's fine. Bang? Wait. Group storage! We <laughs> one ticked it! Big day. That's crazy! That was crazy. Okay, so we've got group storage now. Who wants to fill it up with random crap so that no one else can use no, it? No, no, no. I'm filling it up! <laughs> Wait, no, there's no bank down here. Never mind. Okay, I'm just gonna keep questing. Actually, Pup, I have an idea. We do the strong out of security together, and then we use the money to charter a ship. No, I'm organic. Like... You only eat, like, organic fruit? What does that mean? He said he's organic. I just I, I want to get there by myself like a like a real boy. I love the music from the strong lot of security. It might be the best music in the game. There's no way you're doing that to Sea Shanty 2. Yeah. I don't know. Sea I think Sea Shanty 2 is overrated a little bit. I think that like people like overplayed it and overhyped and was like, "Haha, I'm memeing, I'm playing RuneScape. I am I'm so cool. <laughs> I'm listening to Sea Shanty and that just kind of killed it for me, you know?" All right, not to flex on anybody, but I got 2500 big ones. Not to flex on anyone, but I had to utilize my thick skin prayer to not die. I was running through all the wolves. Not just chartering a ship, fair enough. Who has the highest wealth evaluator? Oh, true. Oh. Who, who's got it? 19.2k. 86.014. 86k? 86. Yeah. Was nuts. Oh, I'm at 56k. Wait, how did I get that much? Wait, Wait. Are, are the... This is what happens when you choose to be a ranger. Literally just on spawn, <laughs> just get gifted everything. It's actually like the yeah, what least the heck? thing in the world. There you go. All right, I got 10k now. Should I go for the fancy boots? What do you guys think? It's probably worth the probably worth the time. Actually, I kind of like my group Iron Man ones. You know what? No fancy boots. I don't need them. I'm unlocking some lodestone. Oh no! <laughs> I got my one tile surge. At least I wasn't first. Nice. Okay, circle of stones and ladder location. I am so confused. I found the circle of stones. Okay, we're almost at the end of the Monk's Friend quest, which is an awesome early quest to do because it gets you 2,000 woodcutting XP, it takes about 3 minutes, and it has no requirements. That's the Monk's Friend quest complete. And that is 13 woodcutting. Honestly, I could do the circus if we want to. It could be okay early magic XP. I do not like the circus music. Anybody else have like an issue with circus music? I'm assuming, yeah, the interface opens, right? Okay, so now we're just gonna hit a bunch of things. I think so, there we go. You basically want to lamp agility until 56, so getting a bit of a speed boost on agility is actually quite good. That's level 7. That's level 8. Okay, yeah, this is worth doing. Uh, I should also do the range one as well for Temple of Ikov, probably. Pro the poor gnome that is just... From this range, too, it just feels... And I still miss, too. Yeah, for the people that haven't played in a while, it's probably weird seeing archaeology. That is 5 archaeology. We're flying. That is the archaeology tutorial complete. Not bad. Gives me 500 life points, which is going to be useful for the quest we're doing next because doing this path with magic is going to be really, really weird because I'm style locked. Usually what you would do is you would do waterfall quest, get really, really high melee stats, and then you can melee everything. We don't really have that option. So I'm not sure about this one, but it's going to be fun. I'm excited to try Elvarg. Elvarg with magic as well is absolutely terrible. Like, one of the worst things you could do. I hope someone dies soon, because I could really use some quick teleports. Wait, we've got caches! Uh, I'm busy. Go, go, go! Walk in! I desperately need to fix my interface. I don't know where anything is. Could do it when you runecraft. Oh, no. Wait, pause, champ? Ooh. 21 divination, 15 divination, 19 divination, and Huge. memory strands as well, which they can go in the currency pouch, and it is a teleport to Piscatoris. Alrighty! That is the necromancy tutorial complete. We're not really gonna do a lot with necromancy, but it's a quest we're gonna have to do for later on anyway. Good to get early early. There we go. Cause at some point we're gonna want necromancy runes as well. Bone shield is allowed and it is extremely good. So there we go. We're now sitting on six whole quest points. Absolutely crushing it right now. On to the next quest, which is gonna be Violet is Blue. It is actually a very good quest. Violet is blue, quest complete, big day. Okay, so Violet is blue is a quest you do for the lamp. And we're using these lamps on farming to unlock player on farms uh, for beehives, because beehives are absolutely the single most overpowered thing you can do. All right, I got my 50 points. And I'm now 25 divvy. Calculation. I got a piece of the divvy outfit, by the way. Big. Oh, nice. Ooh, huge. Wait, am I the team divinationer? I think I am, right? 
That's actually uh, kind of sick, yeah. Wait, I'm 10 prayer Wait, already? We stay blessed? Thank you, Bookberry. You're so welcome. That is Violet is Blue 2 done. Big. It's time for XP. Mining, smithing, summoning. Okay, we'll do summoning now. Bang. I'm gonna do... I guess mining is something it's for Night Sword. Yeah, let's do it. Mining, done. Level 19. Someone else can get me an iron bar. Okay, easy. Let's do construction. All right, big day. Look at all the level ups. 194 total. We're actually kind of flying right now. Not bad at all. Okay, sweet. About to be. Druidic ritual, quest complete. Four quest points, by the way. Kind of a big quest. I love the smushed cutscene. <laughs> done. Four quest points. Some eyes of Newt, some guams, a couple herbal levels. Not bad, not bad, not bad. That is the Wolf Whistle quest complete. 275 gold whistler. charms. All right, I've completed the Stronghold of Player Safety, putting my lamps in smithing. Uh, so what we're doing now is we're getting five crafting because you need five crafting to start the Gunner's Ground quest. Gunner's Ground, I believe, is like a five minute quest that gives, it's like four quest points. That's no, five quest points, so kind of insane. That is the Gunner's Ground quest complete. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We actually got an XP lamp as well that I am meant to put into construction. Five quest points now sitting on 18. I need to go do caches though because I'm actually running three minutes late for it, which is not good. So let's uh, get to caches as soon as possible because if we're quick here and we're efficient, wait, it's literally right there. What am I doing? Uh, if we're quick to getting to caches and we get enough points, uh, I won't need to do any more caches until after reset, which would be nice. I am not a huge fan of things where it's like, you're in the middle of doing something. Let's go do something else for a bit, so. Okay, that is level 28 divination coming in. Pretty good. And I believe I'm now done with caches 200 out of 200. Let's just double check here. Yeah, 200 out of 200. Beautiful. Huge, huge. Oh, there you go. Oh, huge. Oh, wait, look at on, us. On. Group Iron Man history. You Don't look at the total it. XP that's lower than everybody else. Yeah. Should have gone to work is such a funny name. That is Ernest Chicken Complete. 22 quest points, four quest points uh, for that quest. And we are almost about to get our first uh, quest dice, which is going to give us, I think, 250,000 coins. Kind of sick. We take the feathers too. Good little quest. Um, time time. Question. And I'm not saying that I'm not going to volunteer to do this, but. When people are ready to start doing goblin diplomacy, we should probably have one person make all the dies, correct? <laughs> one millisecond ago, I put those in the group storage. Oh. Let's go, we pup! Wow. My Let's go. go! That is the swept away quest complete. Two quest points, nice and easy. We also have 10 sips of goulash. I just want to check the guide really quick, see what I should use it on. Yeah, we can do 20 construction. I feel like that's going to unlock some stuff, because I know one of the fort quests requires 20, so there's 20 construction. Awesome. Seems good. I'll throw it in agility or prayer, actually. You know what? Let's do prayer. Here's level nine agility. Yeah, let's do it like that. And there we go. We are out of goulash. Let's go do goblin diplomacy. Okay, that is goblin diplomacy done. Grand opening. We take those. And that is what's mine is yours, formerly known as Thorax Quest. Complete. 22 mining, 12 smithing. And then we also get this amulet that we can gain XP on for smithing. Gertrude's cat, quest complete. I love that the cat quest gives you a cooking lamp. I'm a little scared about what that's for, but I'll take level 12 cooking. Let's freaking go. I'm trying to figure out where my pet interface is so that I can monitor my cat's well-being. Follow her details, maybe? Got it. Big, all right, I'm growing a cat. This is my dream. Ooh, I gotta kill Cerberus. Uh-oh. I might have to eat the sardines I was gonna give to my cat. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Wait, I'm kind of getting bodied. Wait, I'm gonna die. What are you uh, doing? It's not good. Death by Monk of Zamorak? Please, please someone die. No, nah, I'm not really I, I actually refuse. I don't think I can kill this guy, genuinely. Okay, I need better food. There are some uh, very Shrimp? healthy crayfish in the group storage, oh right? <laughs> hey, no how, how many are we talking? How many are we talking? I don't know, there's like 30. Uh, there's about to be like four. <laughs> That's okay. I, yeah. That's something. No, Sword Stuck is in there first. He's beat me to it. He took them all. Papa. This guy sniped the crayfish. Thank you for the crayfish. Lesser Combust doesn't walk. When do I get normal Combust? Because normal Combust would be a huge upgrade then. Combust is like the best early game magic ability in the game, by the way. It's like insanely strong. After eating <laughs> almost a full amount of food, we've managed to take out almost one singular Monk of Zamorak. Oh, that's crazy. I can't upgrade my spell, nothing. Nope, this is just, this is just what it is. 
That's insane. With necromancy, I'm sure this would be like a, a two-hit job. Goodbye, Monk of Zamorak. I will be taking your golden key. Thank you very much. Good work. I'm also going to give a sardine to the cat. Big day. All right. Fair enough. I'm almost on Priest in Peril. The Wicked Hood is very clutch. And that's Priest in Peril quest complete, which is a really, really good amount of prayer XP, by the way, too. That's level 17 prayer. How do I convince my friend to group Iron Man with me? Uh, link him the first episode of the series. That'll do it. Okay, so we've now got access to Canifus, which I think is pretty cool, actually. Kind of nice, just if you look at the world map, to have a bunch of the lodestones unlocked. Are you still not done? <laughs> no, are you kidding me? This quest is, like, complex. I've got the last one corralled. There we go. That is the Sheep Herder quest complete. As annoying as it is, four quest points... Any day of the week, I have done much worse for four quest points. That's actually really, really solid. You have kind of completed the quest. Wait a second. I did it. Wait, how many Good quest job. points are we all on? 30. 25. 25? I feel like I've been cooking. I'm on 37 mm -hmm. right now. Wait, do the moss giants not aggro anymore? Or is it because the skeletons are hitting? No. My <laughs> honest goal is to have better pots fish for you guys tomorrow. Desert tomorrow? Souls. What about That's today? What are we going to do today then? Yeah, what about today? Okay. Yeah. Right. Hello? Cutting dung beetles in the Calphite Hive is just oodles of tuna. <laughs> oodles? Just eat cake for today, all right? We don't have cake. Go oh, steal it then. We don't have the level. It requires level five. Dude, Waterfall Quest is such a troll quest. Like, it's just full of, like, just infinite opportunities to, like, click the wrong option on something, and then you just lose. There we go. And uh, that is the Waterfall Quest complete. I'm surprised it took us six and a half hours to get here, but I'll take it. Absolute ton of attack and strength XP. Pretty sick, and we keep it moving. So huge. Dude, huge, it feels huge, huge. so weird to be... Oh, I'm 300 total, too, actually. That's pretty sick. Fun it's RuneScape Easter egg. If you go to the candle maker and you buy four candles, you get a fork handle. I hate oh, it here. My, my, cat, my cat is almost dead. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll throw some in there. I mean, you're cool. probably gonna, well, I mean, if you have your cook sardines, you'll be fine to feed your cat, but yeah, I, I have extra. Fair enough, Sir Mordred's about to get, no! I scam myself. I can't After get Wilderness? back into the keep because I left the keep to kill a bat. No! Sir Mordred respawned! Wait, that's so annoying. Oh, you got some sardines? Are you bowling? <laughs> oh, are they raw sardines? Okay, Sir Mordred, leave me alone. All right, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. All right, Merlin's Crystal, quest complete. The most insane six quest point quest in the game. Actually wild Thank that it's worth that right. many. Bro has a lot of life points. I was gonna pop Manny, oh, but wait, I think I need it for Dragon Slayer. So I'm just <laughs> gonna sit here for 10 years. What? <laughs> this mother... No. He respawned! <laughs> that mother... What the... Brother... Did you not hit him with the Excalibur? Did you know Excal? He did Excal, bro. That legitimately took oh, seven minutes. Oh, congrats, Legos. Fifteen minutes later. Oh my god, this is so much faster. <laughs> Why didn't I just do it with melee? I mean, to be fair, I did get two magic levels because I maged. So maybe that was actually where that. I'm now in Goblin Warfare, but it'll be fine. You know what? I got a level from Goblin Warfare, so we actually take it. Okay, this should be a ton of XP, I think. Okay, that's the Holy Grail quest complete, which is gonna get me all the way up to 30 prayer and 31 defense, which is gonna be really important for later today when we go for Dragon Slayer. Ooh, can anyone make a red berry pie? I was eating chocolate. For Night Sword? I've already made one. I can... Yeah, I can get you one. If you could get me I, one, I've already, be... I've already made one. I'll put it in the storage. Are we gonna mine blue right together? Uh, possibly. I I I almost got two hits, so it, it was close. It was close. We we got we got the telly off in time though. Wait, it's that bad? Is it really that bad? We haven't had a death yet today. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I don't want to be the first one, but I really don't. This is gonna turn into an unofficial hardcore if we keep. Uh, <laughs> no one wants to die to do <laughs> runecrafting. We're gonna be like at the end game, completely vizless. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. What? Wait, what? there's someone here who's gonna save me. Help! What? What someone here. Oh my god. No! No! Oh! We have our Vince Waxer! Woohoo! 
Yes. Yes. Right. Ryan, I need some beeswax. Can you get on that, please? I need you to pound so, so, down a block of angry bees. That's what I need, pup. Dude, there was literally a max pain there, and I thought he was gonna click and and save me. And he took no. he took a little longer to click than I thought he would. Oh, and oh no. Of course I ended up dying first. The Night Sword quest is dangerous, and as my punishment, I have to get level 50 runecrafting for access to the runecrafting guild, which unlocks the Vizwax machine. Vizwax is used to speed up the home teleport animation and to extend and reset auras, so it's extremely good. But unfortunately, getting 50 runecrafting in one sitting is gonna be a lot less good. Two room cap. This is gonna be over in no time. This is gonna take no time at all. He's already there. You're yeah, already I, went, I went straight. I didn't even finish the quest. That no. is level 20 room crafting. Not bad, not bad, not bad. It's taken us. We've been here for 18 minutes already. That's 22 room crafting. Let's go. Okay. This is fun. I'm just happy I roped everyone else into room crafting with me. Thank you. <laughs> the best. The absolute best. Okay, you're gonna get best. really depressed when we leave. <laughs> well, you guys aren't gonna leave. You guys aren't gonna leave. You're staying with me. All right, I'll hop one more, and then if it's not there, then then we'll just hang in at twelve. Yeah. Still decent though. I'm gonna do it. Oh yeah, I got, no, I mean it's I definitely got 20K worth doing. From that. I'm level thirty-seven. Good bump. Okay, so now I should go up to the next level, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I'm forty-one runecrafting. We're getting there slowly but surely. Can I say this forfeit is a pain in the? Ass. That is forty-four runecrafting coming in. Big day, not too bad. Also means nature runes, which I'm gonna very quickly grab from the S sound. Wait, does that mean I can do nebulas too? Oh, it can. Cosmic and astro energy. Okay, that's sick. We're gonna do nemi forests. World 59. Oh, big day. World okay. 59. Okay, I would actually. I'll join you guys for nemi forest. That seems like fun. Yeah, if I'm, I'm allowed to leave this place. In the pit. I'll allow it. Yeah, I guess. It, as long as you go right back. Oh damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Holy. Jungle music. All right, let's get some levels. It's really good prayer XP too. The reason yeah. why Nemi Forest is so important though, it's you get Gobi reputation. Gobi reputation is sick when you go to raids. Wait, the chest is Dungeoneering XP, right? For some reason? Yep. Yeah. Do we get level two from it? No. Oh, I am not level two. Okay, I have done Nemi Forest. That's 45 room crafting. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I might be on this uh, part of the quest forever to like, Cow fight pa. Oh, you're getting Menaphos too. Wait, pup, I'm actually build different. I'm I'm genuinely goaded at this. I'm gonna find it for you. I I I, I went to all of the skybox settings they wanted, and I can't see it if hold. I gotta turn up the quality settings. I got this. I can't see any, brother. They all no, look exactly it's like the a same. Circular shimmer. It's like a little circle. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see. You got you gotta you gotta real really dial in. <laughs> Oh, to the right, on your cursor, uh, on my cursor, uh, to the right and then straight, 45 degree angle from you. No, Wait, other, way, other way, other way, other way, other it's... way, other way. My cursor's Bro, right like, on you know, it, right delay. above your cursor, two above your cursor, two above, delay. right next to that one, to the left, to the left. <laughs> massive no. Okay, he's going it's from the right to the left, he's going from the right to the left. I've got him, I've got him, I've got him, I've got him pinpointed. Against the left wall, against the far left wall. Yes, right next to it, yes, that's the one. That's you! Big day. Guaranteed. You got an emerald. <laughs> Thanks, brother. I appreciate you. I got you. Bro. Oh no, I'm so dumb. Oh my gosh. What'd you do? I killed three bats for their bat bones, and then while I was running to do the next part of the quest, I buried the bones. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> the first, I'm so dumb that I'm like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> that one is, uh, yeah, maybe no. a little bit. Oh, I'm almost done runecrafting. This was... <laughs> This was a forfeit of all time. All right, we've left RuneSpan after like two hours. We're still not at 50 runecrafting, so now I'm gonna do the what lies below and enter the abyss quests. Oh, just absolutely killer. Okay, enter the abyss first. Uh, it's really, really low level. Like you just need to do- um, That mini quest, right? Yeah, the enter the abyss mini quest. I just yeah, got insta-killed. Oh no, oh, we have no. no. Wait, what did you die to? Wait. The, the the skeleton boys, brother! I got slapped. Oh, oh. oh the bound skeletons! I told you. We didn't have a forfeit plan for the second death, but we decided it would be a good punishment for Pup to train his fishing and cooking to complete the easy lumberage task set, which would get us close to completing the tier two journey achievement, which gives us twenty extra group storage space. Hey, I got a small rune crafting pouch. Big day. Okay, next up we can now do what lies below. Oh God! I can't. Oh, I don't have a level for the agility shortcut. Uh, I'm gonna die. 
No, I believe. Wait, quick, Keep quick! Now. We need to think of a third, fourth fit. Quick, quick, quick. Um. Um. What? I don't have a teleport. Quick! I don't have a teleport. Think of what something. do you mean? Sixty room Halloween hub. <laughs> Halloween hub. Oh. Sixty room crafting. Yeah. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. Oh, I'm saved. oh man. What happened to my cat? Oh no. We're <laughs> oh, not again. No, it was at like 95% the last time. No, I not There's again. No bro. When did the cat die? <laughs> Eat food. Eat food. Eat food. Guzzle. I have run stream open just because it's really entertaining. Just guzzle. Is there a chat option? Like what if, if it dies or runs guzzle. away or something? Guzzle. I found the passage. <gasps> no! Survive! 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 Please make it! Please make it! Oh my god. I did it. How did, I did you it. not die? We I don't race. know how we didn't die. Oh, get in there! 200 life points. Easy game. <gasps> no! I banked the wand! Yeah. I banked the Ooh. item that I need for the quest! Because I thought it was a Halloween oh, event. I, man. I have to do it again! <laughs> I like literally don't see the passage at all. I'm pretty sure it. you ran past it. Did I? No, I don't think I did. I think it. I think it oh. moved. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. This is, by the way, me still doing my rune crafting. By the way, to go for fifty. All right, team. That is the what lies below quest complete, which is needed for stuff later on. So it is actually like efficient to do. I'm just glad we didn't die. I'm happy with the runecrafting XP, to be honest, and I'm also really happy with the defense XP because I was level thirty-one. And now I'm level thirty-two. Not bad at all. 49 rune crafting as well. So now it's time to make that final push for level 50. And to do that, we're going to be doing the easy wilderness achievements on a free-to-play world so that we have a slightly easier time with the agility portion of it. Whew, good stuff. All right, team, one more level, and then we get to full focus Dragon Slayer. I want Dragon Slayer done. There we go. And... Oh, God. Get out. <laughs> Everything's fine. All right, that's the easy willy task set done. Task system. Can I claim rewards? And there we go. Easy task set has been claimed. Absolutely beautiful. Big moment. Study the, study that is 50 rune crafting. Oh, so he's I'm done. finally he's done my stupid for I swear that was three. We'll have to put up the amount of time that took. I swear that took like three hours. Awesome. Yeah, that, was, that was quite a while. Wait, this is actually decent XP. It's going to help a bunch for Dragon Slayer 2. It's just, it's just like get 37. Don't need to worry about it. <laughs> what is that liquid? <laughs> It's corruption. Okay, zooming out on it did not. Oh, do my cat standing in it? That is level 37 prayer coming in. Bro was right. Th oh, there's a bunch of people here. Though. Wait, someone set up a cannon. Wait. You know what? No complaints. I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get. I will gleefully accept blurite. I won't even think twice. Get me in. Get me out. Okay, so that's the sword. And now, if I give that to the squire, that should be quest complete. I think. I love the free-to-play quests in this game. They're just unreal. Ready, chat. Got the sword. And that is Night Sword quest complete. And I'm now level 30 smithing. Big day. Awesome stuff. Absolutely flying through these levels. Look at all the quests I just unlocked. Nuts. All right, I'm doing Viz for the first time. The fruits of our labor. So slot one is just random. Slot two is mined. Slot three is random. 94 viz big day on day one okay i really like the safe spawnable mobs to me this feel, feels like classic runescape this this is like the most the most runescapey thing that exists just safe spot in a mob hiding behind a rock while i'm growing my cat this is group iron man right here this is it bang and there we go 20 more group storage for the group and 18 magic as well not bad at all that's 20 absolutely nuts I wanted 20 so I can buy tier 20s because I am a little bit tired of using a Caitlyn staff. And <laughs> wait, I can buy Batwing. Oh, do I really want to be Batwing Barry? Absolutely, I do. Spider Wand, Spider Orb. Okay. So this should be a massive upgrade both to my armor and my damage up and everything else. I'm giving myself quick teleports. I worked for that Viz. And now we're going to make back that three hours. <laughs> wait, I've got a cat. Big day. All right. Fully grown cat. Absolutely awesome tourist trap. Let's get it. It is a lengthy quest. Super worth it. I'm a rich in experience and poor in wealth. Bro, actually based every Gen Zer ever right now. <laughs> I'm about to get a bunch of agility XP. Oh, let's Huge. go. That's 22. 
And that's... Wait, it didn't show that I got 27 agility, but I actually did. It's... Oh, GG. Weird. Yeah, I went from 20... 10 to 22. I <laughs> couldn't tell you why it didn't work. I was leveling up so fast, the game was, like, not ready for it. There's one other reason why questing is super helpful for an early game Iron Man. Every 25 quest points, you get a QP dice from May and Varrock, and these give a guaranteed minimum of 250,000 gold. For the early game, that is an insane amount of GP, so we're gonna be rolling a dice every time we get 25 quest points for the remainder of the series. I got a fortunate component, 250k. Another classic RuneScape Iron Man thing is the Jack of Trades aura. It can be activated once per day and reset an additional time with Vizwax. Once you activate it, you train as many skills as you can, and once you've trained either 20 or 25 different skills, you can unequip the aura and then talk to Zuon in Berthorp for an XP lamp. This is the early game agility meta until level 56 or so, so you'll see me here every single day. Once I've got agility to 56, the plan will be to pivot over and start using the daily lamps on Herblore. Let's deactivate Jot, and then now if I talk to this person, I should get a lamp. Put in agility, 2k XP, which is two full levels. Yeah, that's sick. That is so good. All right, Jot again. I'm now gonna consume 40 Vizwax to run it again. Hit activate again. I will get my agility levels. And just like that, we're level 30 agility. Okay, I'm gonna have to be really careful here because I don't really have any light points, but I think we'll be okay. Dude, it is such a big difference going up to tier 20. Unreal. See you, idiot. Okay, we've got the orbs, back to the maze, follow Elkoi, and then that will be the Tree Gnome Village quest complete. So the reason why we did the Tree Gnome Village quest, we're doing it so that we unlock spirit trees because Grand Tree is the next quest. You have to continually go back to the Grand Tree and there's no convenient way of getting there without either 61 agility or spirit trees. So that is Tree Gnome Village complete. So this is like the best early game food shop that exists until you get to like desert souls they heal an absolute ton it will scale all the way up to level 60. No. i'm safe we've saved the run even on manny with my upgraded gear i have 20 percent damage potential gargantuan day all right that is the grand tree quest complete and i'm hoping this gives me a huge xp lamp that i can put on magic i'm a little scared that there's a qualifier on the lamp that i've got to be level 30 but assuming that isn't the case five quest points a ton of agility xp a ton of magic XP and some lamps. Absolutely insane. So first off, magic lamp. Bang, we're now level 24. Second off, 8k agility XP is ridiculous. We are 34 agility right now. We can actually do 18k magic XP. As much as I want HP and like that would be cool. Nah, absolutely. Ready? Bang. And we are now 12 magic levels gained, 36 magic. And my combat level is, for the first time, actually magic-based. We're still 15 HP, which is a huge problem, but that's big. All right, Witch's House. I'm a little scared I'm going to die, but I do have good food. And hopefully good food will be enough. So Witch's House is one of those quests that is extremely good for Constitution XP. It's pretty much the best Constitution XP there is for an early quest. It's just, can you survive the combat? Which I'm honestly not sure about at this level, but... This is like a crazy thing to have in your basement. I'm just putting it out there, man. I really am. Someone's using necromancy. Wait, did they die? No, they won't. Look how low they are! Wait, no, I gotta see who this is. Oh my god! Wait, what's their necromancy level? 31? Yo, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Wait, there's, <laughs> there's no way I could do this. This person has necromancy and better stats than me. Okay. No, there's skeletons stuck outside! No, this is tragic! They're, they're, you can't call conjurers! Please, get there! <sighs> oh no, I know it's about to happen to me too, but damn, that was really funny. <laughs> All right, we got this, weak to water. Wait, look at my tanking! Wait, I'm actually cooking! Wait, no way I'm cooking like this. At 30 magic? Bro can't even land a hit on me! Nah, there's <laughs> no way. <laughs> There is actually no way I'm cooking it like this. Walk the combust. Oh yeah. Eat some food. Actual light work. Holy. This is a tall performance. 97% hit chance. We're actually nuts. That is 16 constitution, 42 combat. We can now grab the ball and let's get out of here. 6k constitution XP. Also, four quest points, getting our total up to 61. And look at the constitution. It's absolutely massive. All the way up to level 26. We've now massively, massively improved our amount of HP. 44 combat, 
We're gonna go make a spot. That was worth 10 constitution levels, that quest. It took like three minutes. Wait, pup, the boat wasn't broken for you. From Dragon Slayer? Uh, no. Bro, it's, it's going crazy. 31 smithing, let's go. All right, so all I need now is silk for my silk stall. And then we've got everything we need for Dragon Slayer and we've got enough for everybody else in the group as well. Wait, did you win? I did, yeah, yeah, it was perfect. I'm Wait. literally, I'm so good at the game, brother. Really? I just, I haven't seen the pop-up that you beat the quest. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's, I'm teleporting to Edgefield, don't worry. Okay. No, that's, that's great. Yeah. Well, huge congratulations. That's really, 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 really exciting. Really? To the point where, it, like, I can stand under it and not get hit damage. Wait, you bugged it? Uh, yeah, I think you can get stuck. Get it stuck in a corner. <laughs> Pup, I can't be seen with you. Wait, I actually want to see how it happened. I was walking him normally, and then he just stopped. And I'm like, what's he doing? Just dying mass for tool? No, but we have some forfeits for the players that die. And the next player to die has to do broken home guideless <laughs> so hmm i don't want to die all right i've got a dragon to slate um first map part i need the maze key i remember being so scared of this boss fight and this maze and like everything in this quest when i was like probably eight or nine years old red key northwest door i presume ah the last one that guy clamped the ladder kill skeleton with a small round shield that is a comically small shield, to be fair. Grab the gold keys on the southwesternmost door. And then we go down, and then down again. Okay, now we kill the zombies for the blue key. No, did I mess up? Oh no, I am the worst. And I lost all my keys too. Really, really fun NPC that's just so outscaled. Okay, we got the purple key, sweet. Kill the lesser demon. Wait, really? Oh, it's like a lesser lesser demon. I swear that's weaker than a normal lesser demon, right? And there is our map piece. Beautiful. There's the unfired bolt. There's the wizard's mind bomb. There's the crayfish cage. And there's the silk. Doors open. I remember this quest being way longer than it is in actuality. That's map part two. And then now we go to the ports from jail for part three. I'm about to buy the Lady Lumbridge. I love that the ship comes with the cabin boy. <laughs> Hi, this is the group Iron Man Health and Safety Team. We recently noticed a significant decrease in your gaming performance, namely uh -huh. your questing speed. We urge you to take the following test. It's not going well. Ooh. I got 48 points. 33 divination. Wait, you actually kind of popped off. Big day. Please pray okay. for my cat. Oh, dude, I love this traveling cutscene. It's just such a nice day to be sailing the high seas with my absolute favorite crewmates. Just a huge fan, especially the cabin boy who really needs a raise. Oh, weird. So I think it would be a good idea to probably free cabin boy Jenkins. It seems like just like a good. I mean, we freed him from being alive. That probably counts, right? You've been freed. Wait, I'm so close to a magic level. Wait, I'm gonna get it before Elberg. There we go, 37 magic. Oh yeah, now we're gonna cook. I feel like this is probably death. I'm just putting that out there, but here we go. Where's my walk? Oh my God, this is not good. He's got the wrong direction. Pup was bug abusing and got him stuck. Okay, easy, hold. Oh God, I don't like this. <laughs> Wait, my bar changed. My food isn't bound. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Please. I gotta manually eat, dude. Okay, eat. Guzzle, guzzle, guzzle. Like you're the goat. Guzzle. Easy. Easy. Calm. Tranquil. Relaxed. Might a prayer. Get the prayer back on. My prayer! Get it. Get there. Get the HP back up. I gotta walk in, dude. Walk the combust. Easy. I do not want to do guideless broken home. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit the Omni. Come on, dude. It's so close. <laughs> it's so close. 
Please! 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 I got no food left. Come on! Get there! See you, idiot! <laughs> Boom! <sighs> oh, I don't know why my action bar swapped. We ball. We freaking ball, dude. Easy game. Let's hand in Dragon Slayer. Zero food left. That was very close. I'm just glad we got it done, though. And that is Dragon Slayer quest complete. I can now buy a rune plate body that I don't want. I also can't use either of these lamps. So I'm actually gonna have to destroy them, unfortunately. Little tragic, but we'll remember once we're 40 to go back. Big day. And this is what the rest of the group got up to today. Legos, who's doing necromancy as their combat style, started off with the early game quests and then got rolling on the necromancy quest line as soon as possible to get all the way up to tier 30 necromancy weapons and armor. But Legos also wanted to focus on fishing and cooking, so he did a number of the desert quests, unlocked Menaphos, and then is working on training up fishing as high as possible so that he can start training fishing in Menaphos with hopes of getting to 68 soon for access to the fishing guild and the traveling merchant. Pup, who's the group's meleeer, wanted to do Dragon Slayer on day one, and that's exactly what he did. He was actually able to get it done slightly before me, and he worked all the way up through melee. And then he continued working on AFKing some other skills like mining and smithing. We also had a forfeit in place for whoever was to die second, and unfortunately, that was Pup, as he attempted to do the easy wilderness achievements, and he didn't know that you could do the lever pull achievement in free-to-play worlds, where there are no dangerous mobs around. Instead, he got basically one shot, and as a punishment, he had to work all the way up to do the Lumbridge Easy Achievement Diary, which was part of the Journey Tier 2 task. Thanks, Pup, and I'm glad I'm not the only one who died on day one. Good thing we're not a hardcore group. Bunny Bop, who's the other necromancer in the group, focused on early game questing. She's brand new to Iron Man mode, and this is her first time ever playing it. So she had a really fun first day, grinding out as many quests as she possibly could. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I, I accidentally AFK'd! I accidentally AFK'd! Survival instincts? Negative a million! And last but not least, Yo Man, who's the ranger in the group, did an absolute ton of skilling and questing, with the goal of completing Ikthlarin's little helper. But unfortunately, it wasn't all smooth sailing for Yo Man, as he lost not one, but two separate cats. Fortunately enough though, third time's the charm, and he ended up with a grown cat and was able to do the quest. After that, he spent a lot of time focusing on woodcutting and fletching, as he is the ranger of the group, and he wants to be able to self-sustain a lot of his own arrows. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this series. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and drop a comment down below. Outside of that, for more of my content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it helps me out an absolute ton. With that said, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.